Hi guys, Matt DeQuinney here from Beyond Grappling. Today I'm about to show you a technique from my new website, University of Judo. University of Judo is a great website I've been working on and it's going to be released in February. So if you like the video, why not click the like button, share it with your Facebook friends, and if you like it, why not comment below and let me know what you think. So just like in Tachiwaza, you have to have options in Neiwaza. There's nothing worse than seeing a guy go for a particular technique, the opponent's leaning the wrong direction, and, and then they just give up. It's just, Neiwaza has to be like Tachiwaza. If your opponent's going one way, you have to have an option. If your opponent's going the other way, you have to have an option. You need to have all bases covered. That's how you win, that's how you develop your judo, and that's how you get better. So let's look at a reverse Sengaku Jimmy for, for example. So I've got my opponent, you know, he's in turtle. What I'm going to do is, I'm going to hook his elbow, and I'm going to bring my knee next to his right ear. Now usually, people go this way for a, for a normal Sengaku Jimmy. What I'm going to do is do a reverse Sengaku, so I'm going to fall to my left. As I fall, I pull my right leg towards me, and my left leg comes straight. And then, I triangle my legs. Now I'm going to start working my reverse end cat. Now for now, my opponent's going to start face down. So go face down. Yeah, he's here. So, since he's down, it's easy. I go up into a push-up position. I walk over his legs. Here. And finish my reverse end cat Uh But, he's smarter than that. He's good. And he's going to uh, uh, defend by switching his hips. So, so often I see a reverse hand gap happen, push that leg through, and you notice the bottom leg goes under my, the top leg, not the other way around. So, he's going to switch his hips, and now look, I can't finish, I can't sit up. I see so many guys get here, and the referee says, Mate, and they give up. You're like, are you serious? You have to look at options, just like in Tachiwaza. Where's my opponent leaning? Oh, he's leaning that way. Let's sweep him that way. So instead of doing my push-ups in a semicircle around his head, I'm going to go the other way. I go behind myself. And it puts a little bit of pressure on his lower back, which is nice even if you miss it, because be he'll be in a little bit of pain. So what I do is I start walking behind myself, and when I get right round, I switch my hips really fast, because he's pressuring towards me. He's pushing his body. So I bring my hips up, and then I pull. And then I can finish my reverse sand cake Jimmy. Because I felt which way he was going and I adjusted accordingly. But as your opponent gets even better, he now knows if he goes face down, I'm going to do the push up and walk around. If he switches his hips, I'm going to switch my hips and go the other way. So what your partner do, does is, is they stay up internal. So I go for my reverse sand gap, bring that leg through. He stays up internal. What can you do? It's quite hard to finish from here because now I can't do my push up. I can't do anything. And I see so many guys get here and stop. Think about it. Where are his bases? What's going on? You've got to get him off balance. So what I like to do is reach under here and grab his pant leg or his leg, whatever's closer. I usually I just grab his pants. And then I kick my, I pull and kick. Kick, kick. And there he goes over to finish my reverse sand kaka jimmy there. So I've just pushed his base, I've changed the angle. Just like in Tachiwaza, you need to have forwards and backwards, side to side. You need to react when your opponent reacts. It's an open skill. He is going to be moving constantly. So if he's face down, I do the push up and walk. If he switches his hips, I, I go behind and, and, and switch my hips. If he stays up on his knees, which is a good idea, I pull his base and kick my hips. Lastly, Say I try it, he gets better. And I, I try to push, he's just, he's too strong. And I, I can't sit up or, or I can't get the, the leg. Maybe his pants have rolled up his, his legs and I can't, I might have grabbed his ankle and I can't get it. I reach over, grab his foot, pull it over my head this way. Puts a lot of pressure on his lower back, but I'm gonna get the submission, which is what I want. So keeping those legs tight, pull this leg up over my body, and then finish with my reverse sink jimmy. So, you notice, you've got to react with your opponent, you've got to have options. And that's what my website's about, that's what the University of Judo is about. I've put together techniques, strategies, combinations, 
you name it, is on there. I've got techniques that flow together. I've got techniques on there and strategies and gripping game plans that can you can start building your game from. If you if you've hit a brick wall and you don't know where to go in terms of tachiwaza, newaza, gripping, strategy, maybe a new combination you need, maybe you need a new strength and conditioning program, maybe you can't get to the gym. Well, I've got kettlebell exercises and, and body weight exercises and things like that. But the University of Judo is a great way to build techniques, build your own game plan, and develop your judo. Thanks heaps for watching, guys. I hope you liked the video. If you did like it, why not click the like button, share it with your Facebook friends, or you can leave a comment below and let me know what you think. Now make sure you keep an eye on your email over the coming days because I'm going to send you an email with a link to a new video that I just know you're going to love. Thanks a lot. Talk soon.